Hello, everyone, and welcome to our channel, Teachers Teaching with Tech. So today, I wanted to do a quick run through of how you create one of those Bitmoji scenes on the computer. So the first thing I did was open my Google Drive and I opened a new Google Slides. So I'm gonna I'm gonna name it. So I'm just gonna name it name it Bitmoji Scene, um, and I'm just gonna give it like. I'm just going to save it emoji scene for now. And then what I want to do is make my slide blank. So I'm going to um, click and drag to select all the boxes and click delete. And then what I need to do is I like to change the size of my slides. Now this scene I'm just going to put into um, a Google slide presentation for my students. So I like to still make these eight and a half by 11. That way if I need to print them for some reason for a kid, or they need to print them from home, they can easily and it won't alter the images. So I like to make them 10 by seven and a half, which will keep it landscape. If you want it portrait, you would do seven and a half by 10. And I take an inch off of each one to leave room for the margin. So then we just click apply. And then I'm gonna change the background. So to find one of the Bitmoji backgrounds, I'm gonna choose an image. And I have a bunch saved on my computer already, so I could search for those by clicking browse. But to show you how to search the, the web, I'm just gonna click Google image search and I'm gonna search wall, floor, background. And all of these choices come up. So I'm just gonna choose one that I like. And um, there, I mean, you can see there's a ton of choices. I'm actually gonna choose this one right here with the brick and I'm gonna click insert. So you can see now I have this scene set up. So this is the background. So it's the students cannot like click, they can't alter the background on the screen. So what I'm gonna do now is start dropping things in. So I want this to be a slide to, my kids are gonna read to me. So I want them to um, be able to drop like a video of them reading to me in here or um, like I, I'm gonna upload these to Seesaw so they can put, they can drop their microphone tool in here and read to me. So it's just gonna be a scene and I wanna be reading. So I'm gonna want a couch. So I'm gonna click insert, image, whoops, up, um, and then I'm gonna search the web for an image and I'm gonna just click couch clip art. And I'm gonna find a couch that I like. I'm gonna try this purple couch. So I just clicked it and I dragged and dropped it into the into the scene and it's really big, so I'm gonna resize it a little bit. Then I'm gonna make it look like the legs are on the floor. Now the original creator of these, Amber Griffith, she likes to do more cartoon ones um, so that they fit more of the like Bitmoji feel. I like to do realistic ones and still throw my Bitmoji in. So it's totally up to you how you create these. The next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and drop my Bitmoji in so that I can fill the space around it. So to do that, I'm gonna go up here to my Bitmoji extension. And since it's a couch, I'm gonna throw this sitting one in. So again, I just drag and drop. And all of mine seem to be sitting the same direction because that's the direction of the Bitmoji. If you want to change the direction, all you have to do is right click, click Format Options. And then over here um, under position, you can, oh, or si I'm sorry, it's under size and rotation. You can click flip and it will flip it to where it's facing the other direction. So just to change it up, I'm going to flip mine to change it the other direction. And then I think I want to add maybe like a, a lamp in the corner. So I'm going to go to insert image, search the web, and I'm going to do lamp, uh, floor lamp clip art. And I'm going to find one that I like and I'm going to drop it in. And then again, you can adjust the size. You can um, send this to the back if you want it. See how it's overlapping. I can right click, order it, and send it backwards. And then, um, or send it all the way to the back so that it's like, it looks like the couch. It's, uh, it's next to the couch. So there's my floor lamp. And then I want to put 
like a board in here. So I have, you can do this multiple ways. You can search a clip art for a board or like I've inserted a television and then put something in the screen. Um, or you could just insert a shape. So I'm going to do the shape with the rounded, the rectangle with the rounded corners, and I'm going to insert it right here. And then I'm going to put, um, I'm going to change it to white. It kind of is grayed out when you do this. And then I'm going to change the border to purple to match my couch. And I can change its thickness so that it really has like a bright border. And then what I want to do is add a text box. I could add font in my shape, but I think it's easier to insert a text box because then I get it right where I want it within the um, image. And I'm going to write read for, um, read me your weekly story. Use the microphone tool and drop the recording in, oops, here. So I'm going to resize this a little bit. I can change the fonts. I can change the color just like I normally would. I like larger font because I have first graders. So I like to use larger font. And actually, I'm going to change the font again because these A's are not like typical A's that first graders write. So I'm going to change the font again just to Century Gothic. It's an easy font for kids to read. So we're going to use that one. And then I actually really like the way that that looks. And then I'm going to add another text box for a title on here that just says reading. And this one I can make into a different font if I want. I have a lot of fonts in here. So I'm just going to pick one of my favorites that I use often. Chelsea Market. We can make this larger since it's the title. And then I always like to center my titles. So I always make the text box as big as the board. And then you can click center. And I actually want to make this purple as well so that it matches the board. So this is the basics of how you make something. Now, there is some dead space over here that you could add something to if you wanted. Now, this is not if you want your kid to not be able to alter this. Like right now, a kid if you shared this with them and gave them a copy, they could alter the, the items. If you wanted, you could download this as an image and save it to your computer and then make this whole thing a background on a Google slide and then they cannot alter any of the text or anything like that. So just be aware of that, that all of these things are clickable at this point. If a kid had a copy of this, they could click on it. If you saved it as an image and uploaded it as a background, they wouldn't necessarily have that access. So when you go to present this, you can see that it makes a nice little scene for the kids uh, to, to look at. I actually really like inserting things that my kiddos know that I like. So in one of mine, I have a Diet Dr. Pepper uh, bottle because I really like Diet Dr. Pepper and the kids know that. So I like putting things in that the kids recognize. You could actually make this background a picture of your own classroom and you could put yourself in your own classroom if you wanted. So there's so many options with this. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you have questions, just let us know. Bye. Thanks for watching.